You have hundreds and thousands of online documentation and wiki pages for learning Ansible. And this is our attempt to cover Ansible in a simple and beginner level approach. This is a series of videos by which we will cover end to end topics for Ansible and also the real life use cases and how to use Ansible to automate those. I know that I won't be able to complete the entire topics for Ansible in 30 videos or 30 days. Uh, basically, the intention is to help those who want to start with Ansible and use Ansible in their real uh, life or daily job. Any uh, prerequisites for learning Ansible? Actually, yes, you should know the basics of Linux as you need to handle the basic Linux operations like installing packages, uh, creating users, managing files, directories, uh, permissions and more. If you are purely from uh, Windows or network background, there are thousands of Linux training courses around and unfortunately we cannot include Linux basics in this video series. Please ask in the comment box, I can share more details if needed. So what is Ansible? Ansible is a simple but very powerful IT automation engine by which you can automate your IT environment for provisioning, configuration management, application and patch management orchestration etc so what are the tasks i can uh, automate in my day-to-day -day job if you ask me you can automate any it operations using ansible as long as ansible can reach the target system over available connection methods it can be ssh uh, winrm api call etc example if you want to deploy multiple applications on multiple servers or you want to create users on multiple servers or do OS patching on multiple systems or any operations, any such operations. You know the pain to execute such operations uh, on multiple system. You need to log in to the log into each and every system, execute hundreds of commands, do verification, fix issues if anything goes wrong, and yeah, it's it's a lot of effort. You won't be able to use your valuable time for other important items. So basically, the aim of automation is to Eliminate the repetitive tasks by which engineers can focus on enhancement and other improvements. Why Ansible? There are few main reasons. Ansible is simple. Uh, actually, the commands and the playbooks are human readable and easy to exchange between teams. They don't need special skills to uh, read it. Uh, the second point is that it's very powerful. You can manage applications, patch, server deployment, infrastructure deployment, configuration management, uh, workflow, automation, or appliances like ESX or storage boxes, or yeah, network devices, anything. And the third important point is uh, agentless. Ansible does not need any agent to be running on the managed host. Instead, it connects to the host using OpenSSH or WinRM or other methods like API. So how Ansible works? Basically there are two parts, a control node. Ansible is installed and run from the control node and will contain copies of your project files including Ansible playbooks. It can be a workstation, your laptop or a dedicated server in the environment. Then the next one is a managed host. These are listed servers or nodes in the inventory uh, inventory, uh, defined as a static or, or via dynamic inventory scripts on which Ansible commands are play or playbooks tasks need to be executed. Wait, what is this inventory? Inventory is the collection of managed nodes where you organize the node details for better access. Like you can create groups of nodes like database servers, web servers or even multiple inventories for production, development, staging etc. We have a detailed video on inventories in this series and watch it for more details. Then we have playbook. Place or place our ordered set of tasks to execute against host selections from your inventory. A playbook is a file containing one or more plays. Then we have task. A task runs a module with arguments to accomplish the required state or actions. So we will learn uh, more about the tasks and playbook in the upcoming videos. So what are Ansible uh, modules? Ansible modules are basically a reusable standalone script that Ansible runs on your behalf, either locally or remotely. 
So you will use the modules to execute specific tasks and modules will interact with your machine, API or network devices to accomplish the automated operation. No need to worry. You don't need to write modules basically as there are 10,000 of modules available from the community and other vendors. Since the introduction of Ansible collection, organizing and using an Ansible modules and roles is uh, so easy now. Watch our video on Ansible collections uh, to know more about this. There is uh, one more item uh, when we talk about Ansible. Uh, this is Ansible Tower. This is an enterprise framework by Red Hat to manage, control and secure your Ansible environment. Uh, we do not have a plan to include Ansible Tower or Ansible AWX topics in this series but of course there, will, there are videos for same in our channel already and you can expect more uh, maybe another series uh, later. So what are the use cases we can automate using Ansible? As I mentioned, you can automate uh, most of your IT operations uh, using Ansible. It can be provisioning your infrastructure like virtual machines, network, SD and storage etc. You can use Ansible for configuration management also uh, like uh, uh, app deployment, uh, continuous delivery, security and compliance orchestration. Yeah, so many things. I have collected some fun for basic reference in my blog. Uh, so you can refer it from here. Okay, enough with the introduction. Let's learn about Ansible installation in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video.